Our next plaintiff is the avocado pear, representing the uterus or the womb. Before stating its case, it has a message for the women or anyone who performs female genital mutilation. OMG, who started this tradition? I am the uterus or womb. I carry and give birth to children and I make jolly good time with my husband. Infection from damages on Cleo causes me to bleed excessively and I could die. And if I don't die, I end up with pelvic inflammation diseases, bad smelly odor, infertility, and complicated pregnancy. For generations you have cost us all to bleed. You made us surrender to unwanted pain for so long. Time after time, you have made us all to cry. This is so sad. Who did Cleo offend? When I can't do my job to produce children for my next generation, what solution do the women of tradition have for me? They said Cleo causes promiscuity. But how did they know what a little girl would do when she grows up? I'm so confused. Does Cleo go for training to learn promiscuity like people who go learn sewing or hairdressing? Well, wherever it goes to learn this promiscuity, please let it stay there. I agree with the bladder. We want Cleo to relocate. I will stop now. When I come back, I will tell you how Cleo affected me and my darling husband.